One of the most exciting part of my Cambodian trip was visiting the famous Angkor Wat temple. I stayed in a hostel in Siem Reap and the hostel arranges daily tour to Angkor Wat. It costs $20 per person including transportation and guide. Most of the tour operators charge around the same. If you would like to save a little bit, you can always hire your own tuk-tuk and it would be around $20 to $30 for the full day tour. Since we were five of us, it ended up costing us $5 per person and also we had the freedom to travel at our own pace. He also took us to some less visited temples around the area. Sunrise at Angkor Wat is a spectacular sight to see and in order to get a glimpse of that, you need to start from Siem Reap as early as 4 a.m. in the morning. You can buy tickets at the ticket counter and it opens by 5 a.m. They have one day pass for $37, three day pass at $62 and seven day pass at $72. We took a day pass as we didn't have much days left in Siem Reap. But if you are interested in the history of Angkor Wat in a more detailed manner and also wanted to do it in a slower pace, I would suggest you to book the three day pass and it's totally worth it. We covered all the major temples in one day but due to the heat and so much walking, we are totally tired on our way back home. Down is more fun. Oh. Yeah, always going down is fun. Oh, you took shot with that. I was like <laughs> my face completely inside of the camera. <laughs> nothing like this in my life. The architecture, the history is sure to amaze you and leave you with so many unanswered questions. To build something of this large scale in a matter of 35 years without any modern technology is remarkable and leaves you speechless. Angkor Wat is the largest religious monument in the world and was originally constructed as a Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Vishnu. Angkor Wat translates to city of temples and you could easily see it on the Cambodian flag and the currency. It's truly a masterpiece of humankind and should be on the bucket list of every backpacker while visiting Cambodia. We had a great day learning and exploring this masterpiece, playing hide and seek, making new friends along the way, trying Cambodian cuisine for lunch and a little prank on one of us which you can watch it at the end of this video. How did you know I was taking video? Was Is that you actually? <laughs> oh no! You're all gonna be like this. Really? Be like, I was taking video, I didn't even take a picture. Once we got back from the tour, we went for a Cambodian massage which was around $10 or less. To end the day, we went to a restaurant that served Happy Pizza in Pop Street. Hopefully in the comments section, you will find the meaning of Happy Pizza. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more backpacking content and if you have any questions about backpacking Cambodia, feel free to comment down below. Move slowly, move slowly. Just, just move slowly. Go forward, go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Oh, slowly, slowly, it's moving. Oh, f Hana, 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 show me your face. <laughs> <laughs>